individuality will always be one of the conditions of real elegance. Christian Dior sure had such a way with words. And rightly so with our video for today with GC's own fights. If Christian demand himself values individuality so much, then so do you and so do we. Even more so when you realize, like some other signature bag brands, Dior's himself also gets counterfeited many times on the market. That's why with the most of what we're doing with our series of uploaded videos on JC's Home Finds vlogs, today we'll be talking about how you could spot a fake Christian Dior bag. So sit back, relax, and learn. Our guide for this video let me introduce to you our Christian door bags the green nylon bag the romantic the black pouch and the one on your farthest right the gaucho saddle bag now for starters let's check the bags handles it is important to note that the bag handle should be as firm and sturdy. Although mostly this applies to the Lady Dior bags, it is still an essential fact to note that the Christian Dior handles are made rigid on most of its productions and with immaculate stitching. If you find yourself holding a Christian Dior bag with a flimsy handle or two, it most likely is a fake. Moreover, with the stitches, we'll be covering it more in depth after the next few pointers. Up next, for number two, you have to check the bag's charm or the hanging accessory. Charms add to the femininity of bags and most Dior charm sets consist of four letters forming the name for the fashion house. In this case, of course, it's Dior. And it also comes with an oval letter tag that is a tad bit bigger than the letter O. But in this case with our green nylon bag, it doesn't have one which is actually just okay. The rules on hardware also apply on charms. They should not be too glossy nor too shiny. The ring that holds the charm should be stable on the bag while the letters themselves can be moved. Next part of the bag you have to check is the letter tag right here another additional pointer to look out on christian dior bag is the letter tag which is mostly located inside the primary pocket each tag has a rectangular shape with slightly round corners if you see a rectangle with straight angles on each tip of the rectangle or the shape it's again most definitely a fake check the tag stitches after the 900s, the fashion houses started to make them interlocked on all four corners around the tag. The next part that you have to check as I mentioned earlier is the stitches. Checking stitches plays a vital part in authentication. Did you know that most counterfeiters of Dior bags can't ever replicate the stitching perfectly right? There will always be a mistake no matter how little it gets somewhere and here are a few targets to keep an eye for. But wait again before we get started with the next pointer, I would like to ask everyone to please like, share, and subscribe with JC's Home Finds Vlogs to be updated and posted on uploads and contents. So what do fakes fail to copy with stitches again? Number one, the color of the threads. Each threads always match the leather or lining of the bag. They are the exact and same shade no matter what. Number two is the quality of the stitches. Already sounds redundant to be honest, but hastily done Dior bags would reveal itself already as a fake, with just a few crooked and uneven stitchings. Some threads will also stick out would be the biggest giveaway. Number three, the pattern. Just like British craftsmanship, Dior's patterns has quite a strict attitude on every hem. On fake ones, threads are deeply embossed on leathers, while in fact, Dior artisans never ruin leather with stitching. The next part that we have to check with the bag tag, or actually along with the bag tag and apart from the stitches, is the heat stamp. The heat stamp is found on the front of the interior tag, and depending on the model, there can be two or three lines. Number one, it says Christian Dior with Paris on the second line in capital letters a bit below. 
and for some purses it has made in Italy or made in Spain beneath. Also only in capital letters, take note of that. They can be both stamped with no color or embossed with silver or golden letters. Letters should be clean and easy to read, with no color outside their edges. And lastly, the logo should be centered and not spread from one side to the other. The second to the last part that we have to check on the bag is the date code. In this section, I'll be teaching you how to read a Christian Dior date code, which was actually derived from Louis Vuitton's date coding system. Okay? Now, when you look closely, our Dior bag here consists of a combination of six digits with two all caps or all capital alphabets. The two letters indicate the factory where the bag was made. In this case, we have the B-O, which means that the bag was made in Italy. Now, before we move further, make sure you pause the video for a bit and take a screenshot of the code chart I'm about to put on the screen right about now. This is for your future reference should you need it. Now with that out of the way, now uh, where was I again? Oh yeah, as I was saying, the format of the date code is the same as on Louis Vuitton bags because both Dior and Louis Vuitton are, believe it or not, a part of LVMH Moe Hennessy Louis Vuitton. Cushion Dior S is the main holding company for LVMH owning 40.9% of its shares and wait, 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 we're going off track here, fabulous people. <laughs> this part can wait for another video and let's focus on the bags first now, shall we? <clears throat> cool facts you may not know about Christian Dior video coming soon. <laughs> okay, so now that we know that our alphabet says that our Dior bag here is made in Italy, how about the other six digits? Well, the first and third numbers following the alphabets on the right represent the month, okay? The first and the third, that is for the month. Next is the second and the fourth number on the right, still on the group of numbers on the right, represents the year. Meanwhile, the first two numbers, I believe, Oh, actually, it's quite tricky this one because to this day, no one knows exactly what they are. Or at least some of us bag lovers know for sure. However, based on a few blog posts I've checked and researched, the first two numbers indicate the date or week the bag was made. Last but most certainly not the least is we have to check the authenticity card. But the question is, does most your bags actually have their own authenticity cards? Short answer is yes, and the long answer is no. But you know what? Authenticity cards are really not that much of a dependable option in authenticating a Dior bag because they are every counterfeiter's wet dream. Wet dream. <laughs> yeah, to replicate due to how easily they could be replicated and reproduced. So, my doctor's recommendation here is always pay attention to the quality of the bag itself rather than focusing solely on the authenticity card. And that is all for the bag parts that you have to check on a Dior bag. Now, if you're still having doubts, which is a natural occurrence, you can always ask the professionals or the bag doctors to check on your bags. Specifically us here in JC Zone Finds because we have our own and we are a entropy verified business. Well, that took quite a while again, but it's okay. What matters is at least 80% now you are sure and you had your facts set straight that you are happy with your Dior bags. <coughs> After all, as Dior would put it, happiness is the secret to all beauty for there is no beauty without happiness. And that's all for our video for today with GC Some Finds Vlogs. Thank you so much once again for joining me with this video. I'll see you in the next one and stay fabulous as always. <laughs> Meals ready!